to start your design you're going to search for a blank logo canvas so with the second logo we thought it would be really cool if we find font that looks like food so we're going to go to our plus button and we're going to add a text we're going to add bp as a heading and then we're going to go and look for font that looks like food because it is a burger palace so we're going to make it a capital letter b and p we're going to make the size of our bp 130 and we're going to go and search for a font that looks like food we're going to click on font and i looked around and i looked around scratched while i was researching this and i found a font that's called at nouveau outline it really looks like a burger and you click on it and it applies with a tick you know that it has applied you close your font to look up and it's stunning and it definitely looks like food so just for us to view this better i'm going to change the background and make it a black background and then change my font to a bright yellow and then i'm going to add the rest of the name of the palace at the bottom of the page We are going to add a burger and then we're going to add a tomato and lettuce on our burger. So we're going to go to our plus sign and we're going to go to our elements and we're going to search for a burger. I found this burger. So if you don't have Canva Pro and you would like to create your own burger, you could. You could go to your shapes and with your shapes, you could create that, just that shape and add these little dots and write burger and then get another shape that looks like the bottom of the burger last thing i would do here is to add my lettuce and add my tomato so what i used for lettuce and tomato i'm going to lock this so that it doesn't disturb us and i'm going to go on the plus button and i use the dash line so you go to your elements you go to lines and shape you click see all and on your see all you go and you look for that dash sign you could use either this one or you could use the one next to it and then we're going to change the color of this one and make it a red because this would be our tomato so you just reduce it slightly and you could even go to line style and make the size of it is a little bit smaller which is why an otp is so nice to have when you're designing on your phone then you're going to move the tomato to the burger like that and there you have your tomato you would duplicate that and change color and make it a green for your lettuce and then you move your lettuce the last thing that I would do, I would like to have a Siamese seeds on top of this burger so that it shows as white. So how I did that, I just went to my plus sign and I got a shape and I added the shape behind the burger and then it was white. That one, I clicked on it once and then I changed the color and I made it white. And then I reduced that, moved it to the burger like that and I sent it to back. I went to position, then I said back one. That's it. There's your Burger Palace 2D logo that you would have done on Canva. Now you're ready to go and convert this one to a 3D. You're going to click on share and you're going to go download and you're going to select transparent background. And we're going to choose page two this time and we're going to click on done. And then if you don't have transparent background, you can trial it with my link below and see if you like it or not. Next, you're going to access www.photop.com in order for you to convert your 2d logos to 3d so you're gonna go to psd templates if you want to use templates on photop however you could upload your own and download your own and use it on open computer then you're gonna click on mockups so that you get to view mockups then you're gonna scroll and move the mockups so that they show go there's your 3d logo that looks like a shop and it's gorgeous i love it we do have a course that would teach you canva from beginning to end 
go to my website learnwithzar.com i will see you on the next video